Perak constitutional crisis has become an issue that challenges the validity of the new government of Perak and legitimacy of the appointment of Menteri Besar. It has been brought into the High Court and further to the Court of Appeal and Federal Court with the citation of Datuk Seri IR Haji Muhammad Nizar Jamaluddin and Datuk Seri Dr Zamri Abdul Kadir 2010 to CLJ. The issue of the crisis was whether the Menteri Besar by His Royal Highness Sultan of Perak was acted within his authority to appoint the respondent, whether the test of confidence in the Menteri Besar can be held only on the floor of the Legislative Assembly under Article 16, Clause 6, and whether the Menteri Besar may be dismissed from the office if he refused to resign after he has been asked by His Royal Highness Sultan of Perak. In the 12th general election on 8 March 2008, Pakatan Rakyat obtained a majority of seats in the State Legislative Assembly by winning 31 seats out of 59 seats and formed a new government of state. The appellant Datuk Sri Muhammad Nizar Jamaluddin from Pakatan Rakyat was appointed as Menteri Besar by the Sultan of Perak. On 5 February 2009, the letter was sent by three members of Legislative Assembly from Bahrang, Changkat Jering and Jelapang to Sultan regarding the expression of their support for Barisan Nasional and non-confidence of the appellant. The appellant issued an audience with Sultan and he requested for the dissolution of the Legislative Assembly to call for new elections. Sultan rejected his request and directed him to tender his resignation of the Executive Council since he had lost the majority of the members of the Legislative Assembly. The Chairman of Barisan Nasional of Perak, Datuk Sri Najib bin Tun Razak in his capacity as Deputy Prime Minister, had an audience with Sultan with the purpose of presenting the letter of support from 28 members of the Legislative Assembly and the latter's three supporters indicated he currently obtains majority members of Legislative Assembly. In order to prove that, he brought in those 31 members of the Legislative Assembly to meet Sultan and they spoke their support to Barisan Nasional voluntarily without any other influences from any party. The appealant failed to comply with the instruction from the Sultan. Therefore, on 6 February 2009, the respondent, Datuk Sri Dr. Jamri Abdul Qadir from BN, was appointed as new Menteri Besar, replacing the appealant. The appealant filed an application for judicial review seeking with the declaration that he was still the Menteri Besar of Para, an injunction to stop the respondent from acting as the new Menteri Besar of Para. Dato Sri Jamri Abdul Qadir was sworn in as the new Menteri Besar in the Royal Palace. The cause of the Perak constitutional crisis is the gap between the seats of the Legislative Assembly between Pakatan Rakyat, PR, and BN in the 12th general election. PR won the election by only three seats more than BN. It opens an opportunity to the opposition party to seize back administrative power. The concentration will fall on when any members of Legislative Assembly turn their support to other parties which will affect the majority of the Legislative Assembly. The current government will collapse. Unfortunately, three members of Legislative Assembly defected from Pakatan Keadaran Rakyat PKR, and Democratic Action Party DAP, and moved their support to the BN as independent supporters. They were Inche Jabaluddin bin Muhammad Razi from the Legislative Assembly of Barang, Inche Muhammad Osman bin Muhammad Jailu from the Legislative Assembly of Changkat Jering, and Madam Ki Yit Fong from the Legislative Assembly of Jerapang, respectively. They even wrote a letter to the Sultan stating that they did not intend to resign and they still served their duties as assemblymen or assemblywomen. They declare that their resignation is invalid since they have not tendered their resignation letter. In Malaysia, the State Assembly's members who are with the majority members of the Legislative Assembly can be declared as Menteri Besar. It was a key reason why the para constitutional crisis will arise as there are changes in the majority members of the Legislative Assembly or the majority of confidence. <laughs>